Alrighty guys, welcome back to my silly channel. Chili Willie here, aka Yellow Fox Potty Guy. I'm going to go over the prices from the Kissimmee sale, the big sale that Meekum does every year. Um, there were 22 Fox Bodies that popped up for sale. And I went over these prices last week. Today is January 15th. All 22 have already come across the auction block. I have not looked at what all of them sold for yet, but all of them have already come across. Last week I did a video and I didn't upload I tried to upload it. Something went haywire and I just got frustrated. I didn't upload it. I said, well, I'll just throw these in here. Last week I guessed what every car would sell for just to see if I'm a good appraiser or not. And I'm probably not. We'll find out. I, I, have, I literally have not looked. I have not cheated. And all the prices are already on the other part of the video. And I'm just going to put this. I'll, I'll put the uh, text in and what they actually sold for or what the highest bid was on each car. And we'll go from there um, just to see if I'm close. I'm going to celebrate if I'm within $5,000 on some of the top end stuff and I'll buzz me out if I'm lower but this is just I'll talk about it on the back side of what's going on what I see going on in the Fox body world so should be interesting to see how good an appraiser I am whether I'm too high too low uh, who knows we'll see let's watch the video like I said there are 22 cars up for sale I'm gonna try to spend about 30 seconds on each this one here was a 1990 LX convertible. It uh, had chrome ponies on it. And 16,000 is what the top bid was. The bid goes on. It did not sell. So that is a 51,000 mile car original. So pretty much unmolested wild strawberry convertible. Kind of rare, but yep, that's what it is. Didn't sell. The owner wanted more than 16 grand for it. So. Next up is a 1989. This one has not sold yet. This will be coming up, uh, I think, Thursday. Looks like this is a 25th anniversary Carolina special car. Um, 25th anniversary. If you ever see a white one with the red, um, the red pony emblems on the bottom, that means it was sold at a Carolina dealership. They made 250 hardtops, 250 convertibles. This is one of them. It has original 4,000 miles, which is pretty good and it was custom ordered with the ground effects from the factory and with those white wheels from what i understand so i'm thinking it's a one of one option that way which i don't think that's really gonna matter uh too much but i don't know what the anniversary these anniversary cars are really selling for my guess will be twenty two thousand. is what i'm gonna guess on this car with only four thousand miles on it up next, 1989 Mustang GT convertible with only 13,400 miles. This looks like an unmolested car to me. That's very low miles. Cabernet red, white interior, all the options, cruise control, amazingly clean, documented, everything. It's got all the oil change records. This thing has all the records. It's never been wrecked. It is a 100% factory car from, what year did I say? Turbines, 1989. So I'm going to guess that that car being unmolested 13.4 on the mileage, I'm going to say $25,000. Up next, the 1990 Ford Mustang 7-Up car. This one is an unrestored with 561 miles on it, and I think it's one that was shipped to Canada. Yeah, so this has a kilometers per hour speedometer on it versus a miles per hour speedometer. And so that's going to make it kind of rare. It's one of 4,103. They made 4,103 of the 7-Up cars. You know, they're not super rare, but they are a feature car. It was a special feature. They were all built the same. This is one of 261 that was exported to, Cam to Canada. Only two owners. And because of those miles, 561, I'm going to say that car goes for 30... 28. We're going to go $28,000 on that one. Let's see what we got next. We got a GT350 convertible, which is probably a turbo car. Uh, yep, turbocharged four-cylinder, 469 original miles on it. I've got, I know somebody who lives near me that's got one of these with 16,000 miles on it. So they have kept their miles off of theirs. Um, I haven't really looked into what these cars are selling for. So this is going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a, a good guess. With that, only that, and it is a special type of car being the GT350 moniker is on there. We're going to say unmolested original 469. Wow. And it's number 3922, so it's a numbered car. Oh, wow. 28,000? That's my guess. 
1990 Mustang LX, another 7-up car with 41,000 miles. That's decently low mileage for that car. Um, one of the 4100, this is automatic car, which most of them were. Uh, I think about 1,700 of the 4,100 were actually 5-speed cars, so that's some junk trivia for you. Oh, the ashtray door. Looks like the ashtray door was up. Uh-oh, take off $10 right there. Nah, I think it's just flipped open to show you how clean it is, but I do see it on there. So, my guess is going to be 41,000 mile. Hmm. 7-Up car. I'm going to go 21,000. Okay, here is a resto mod. This is, you know, the coupes. Everybody swears these coupes are selling higher. Estimate by Meekum is $100,000 to $120,000. This, this car is just custom built by JA Custom, which I guess is kind of a big name. I don't know. It is a Gen 2 Coyote Swap car. It has a um, supercharger, so it's rated 675 horsepower. Meekum's got it at $100,000 to $120,000. I don't think it'll bring that much. It might. It might be. It might just because the owner, I know Bipolar, brought six figures, and they had about $120,000 in that car. And they got their money back and then some. So I'm going to go with this car. Uh, it's custom build. Let's go 80000 85000 We're going to say 85000 I'm going to cut them shorter to 120 estimate. Okay, here is a SVT Cobra from... Um, this guy here was a big time. The Gary Thomas collection, I think it was. He has 200 Shelbys and he's selling a bunch of them this week at Meekum. 1,205 miles, original miles on this car. That is a low mile, pristine, undriven, pretty much showroom car. It's not a wrapper car. They estimate 60 to 80,000. I'm going to give them that. I'm going to say $63,000. Well, it might go for higher because the Cobra's bringing big money. Let's go 70, 73,000. I'm going to put 73,000. I'm going to go right in the middle of Mika's uh, estimate. But I mean, that's a fully documented, undriven car, basically. It's been in collector's hands in its entire life, so it's never seen a lot of road usage. Very minimal. Okay, the 1989 convertible with some weird stripe. I'm sorry if you're watching this and this is your car, but the stripe need to go. I'm just saying that does not look good to me at all. That thing, whatever that is, that hurts that car by $500 in my opinion. And it is a, just a 5.0 with automatic. Um, 5,500 and the bid goes on. That's about about what I figured. So yeah, it just it's not that rare a car. Big number. Okay, another 7-Up car. I think there's four 7-Up cars here. This one sold for 5800 I think it was, with buyer's fee and all. It came out. The 7150 is what this buyer had to pay for that car. So that shows you the difference. You got low-mile cars that are going to go for 20000 in the exact same category, 20 or 30 And then you've got the exact same kind of car that's been well-driven. No mileage on here. No mileage reported. It is one of the... Five, it's one of the automatic... Yes. They're saying it's one of 2,740 produced, and then the other thing said there's 4,100 produced, and we know there were 4,100 produced. So it's not that rare car. It's not even five-speed. Um, so there it was. It sold for 60, I think it was, right around $6,000 or 5,500, and then the, the buyer and seller's fee, it came out 7,150. But I believe it was 5,500 was the actual purchase price. Here is one. It is a 89, which means it should have turbines on it. It does not. Uh, Funky 5.0 probably owned, owned it at one time, and he hates turbines, so he probably put some tin holes on it. But anyway, 61,000 original miles, and it has already sold. 16.5 was the final thing. I think it went for 14.5, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. That's for a 61,000 mile car. So 14,000 for a 61,000 mile car, you know, that's, that's what you're looking at. Next up is another coupe. 500 horsepower, another resto mod set up. I believe that is Coyote swapped. Yes, it has a new Coyote in it, 500 horsepower, Tremec T56, Willwood brakes. So somebody's put some time and work in that. There is no estimate price on it. So I've got to guess resto mod price on something like this. It's very clean. It's got brand new carpet. You can see the wrinkles haven't even been worn out of the carpet yet. I remember whenever mine was like that, there was still a lot of wrinkles. Now everything's kind of seated. Four point seat belts coilovers, new paint. So somebody's just dropped probably 30000 in this car. So I'm going to say this car goes for really 35000 We'll go 30, 32 five. That I'm just going to give it 32 five. I will see. And I think that's high. I'm going to go back to 30, 30000 on the rest of mod. Here's a 1990 LX convertible. This is basically the same setup I've got on my car. Except, of course, mine's a 4i. But let's go back and look. 
yeah look at this this is saline spoiler you got your your Cobra R reps still four lugged um, got a roll bar high-rise hood the cow hood they're estimating 15 to 20 on it um, there's no mileage I don't think it's gonna go that high I'm gonna say that car goes for 13,000 is the actual winning bid so 15 with <coughs> fees taxes blah 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 so I'm going 13 on that one because it's clean it's cleaner than mine here is another there's another coop or is this that same oh this is another coop this is a carbureted somebody's put some time up under the, the hood of that no shaving but they got rid of a bunch of wires uh it's an 89 with an automatic probably a c4 or some fancy transmission that can hold three it's been stroked to a 347 410 rear seat delete so that's basically a street street racer set up estimate 12 to 15 is what they're saying i'm gonna say since it's no big prominence builder and there's nothing super duper about that you can see those everywhere i'm gonna be right in their estimate too i'm gonna say 13 I don't know. It's hard to say with those. It's got to hit somebody's cord just right. So I'm going to say 13. Here is a 89 Mustang convertible. 53,000 original miles. It has been five lug swapped and it has saline wheels on it. Original bill of sale warranty card comes with it. It's a North Carolina documenting 53,000 miles on it. So it was bought capital Ford in Raleigh. I know where that is. And it's had the brakes upgraded. It's been kept in storage since 1995 in climate control area 17 6 i'm gonna give them that was the winning bid so yep i was gonna say 15 to 20. Eh, i would have been decent here's another gt350 convertible it sold for 13 two price sold for 12. there's your buyer's fee and seller's fee 11 percent on both of those gets you to 13 2. and that was in case we're wondering a no mileage reported so I think the average price on those cars right now for GT350s is around 10 grand to 12 grand. So that was on the top end because it's very clean. I mean, that car is clean. So there you go on that one. Four left, y'all. We got something about like mine, kind of like Star Fox, what this car reminds me of, the Star Fox for Autism car. You can see it's just the LX. Somebody's put a, the 8384 scoop on it. Uh, it's got graders on it, black graders, four lugs still. It's got a 351 Cleveland in it. Woo, big block. Very clean on the inside. Yeah, that, that reminds me a lot of the Star Fox. Estimate was 10 to 15, and it sold for 13 to 2. So they got their mess together on that one. I think that's about 11.5 is what that would price would be for the winning bid. And here we go, 84 SVO. 16.5 is what it sold for. So it sold for about 15, and then the buyer's fee and seller's fee. 14.5 looks like what it probably sold for, 14. And 27,000 miles. So here's the answer to that. A 27,000 mile SVO 84 model, which certain people like 85 and 6 is better for the headlights, but there's not much difference in those cars. 16.5 is what it sold for, so that is a low mile, not bad. I, I would have thought that car would have went right around 20, but what do I know? Here's one that sold already. It is a 85 Mustang GT convertible. Let's get a picture of the whole car. Oh yeah, this is bone stock, unmolested, factory paint car. Gorgeous car. That's why I wish my... Wish I had one that was identical to mine. 5,600 miles on this car. It sold for 24.5, I think is what the winning bid was. Or 24. And 26.4 with seller's fee and everything for 5,600 miles for a, a, a low mile 85 convertible. And there's some kind of crazy background music going to get me banned off of YouTube. Anyway, last one, y'all. We already talked about it. It's that one. So I, this is where I opened up the page. All right, and that was it on my guessing of about the 10 or 11 that hadn't sold as of the time I got this video together. The first time around, on my guesses, I was really close on five, and I was really off on five, but I was closer on the street mods, which is surprising since now you don't never know what they'll sell for. Um, I was off by tens of thousands on those Cobras. I would not have thought those Cobras, just the regular Cobras, are going for six figures now. Used to, that was just our territory only. But anyway... Me and Miss Whiskers here, she's uh, cleaning herself. We're going we gonna to say Arriva Dirty. Appreciate everybody who watches the channel. Hit the like, subscribe button for more Fox Body and just all kinds of content. Got a bunch of shows coming up here pretty soon. So stay tuned. God bless you all. Peace.